All right, for today's video review, we're gonna be taking a look at Transformers R.E.D. Bumblebee. So if, uh, yeah, if you're unfamiliar with the, the R.E.D. line, basically it's just a, a line of posable, non-transforming Transformers characters. Um, Bumblebee here is part of wave, I guess, three, technically. Um, the first wave was uh, Megatron and Soundwave and Optimus. Second wave was Cheetor and RC from Transformers Prime. And the third wave is Bumblebee and Starscream with his coronation gear. And uh, yeah, he's a he's an all right figure. There's a uh, you know there's a few strange things with him <laughs> which we'll get into, but you know overall I, I think that he does look decently good. Um, you know, for as just like a posable Bumblebee action figure, he is a. Uh, What's kind of strange, I mean, I guess it makes sense in, in you know, in concept, is that he's pretty much the same exact height as all the other R.E.D. figures, uh, which means that, you know, they're not really in any sort of scale at all. I think what would have been pretty cool is if they had, you know, since this is a non-transforming Bumblebee, if they had decided to go like an action mastery route, where, you know, made him a little bit smaller and then maybe you know, given some, given him some accessories like his old Action Master toy with like the, you know, helicopter backpack, I think that would have been pretty cool. But, you know, that's just not really the design intent they're going for. Basically, you know, he's just meant to be a pretty accurate G1 looking Bumblebee. And yeah, he looks pretty good overall. Um, they've made a few weird choices. Like, I, I, I don't know why they've decided to add like the scuffed silver uh, on parts of his body because they don't really commit to that fully so there's just like a few spots that have it but overall he still looks pretty like you know cell shaded and animation like smooth uh, edges kind of so like adding the bits of silver doesn't really like pick it out in a way that makes it look more realistic it just kind of I don't know dirties him up a little bit um proportionally like I, I think the one thing that bothers me especially with him being so tall too is I feel like his lower legs are kind of enormous. Like, you know, Bumblebee's always had big feet, but I feel like, you know, if this section of his leg was just like a little bit smaller, maybe to match, you know, the sight of the, uh, the size of his uh, thighs here, since like his thighs are tiny compared to his enormous lower legs, then proportionally that would work a little bit better. Like if the foot started like here rather than all the way down here, I don't know. It's not, it's not the end of the world. And like when you get him in posing, you know, it, it's a little bit better, uh, but you know, I, I just feel like proportionally it would have worked a little bit better if the feet started like at around the midpoint of his uh, of his lower legs. But yeah, speaking of uh, articulation, um, for his head here, he's going to a ball joint. It's, you know, it's got a bit of range of wiggle back and forth, but just due to the shape of his head, you're not getting a tremendous amount. And that's what his, uh, what his face looks like too. Nice, you know, it's a kind of softish sculpt, but you know, it gets the point across fairly well. Um, his shoulders here can rotate all the, all the way around, though so it actually gets kind of tight when you, when you get it up near the top. Um, they can fold out to the side like that, about that far. He does have like an extra joint in here for his shoulders to wiggle, for, wiggle forward and back, which is nice. That's pretty cool. Um, he's got a uh, bicep swivel right here. He's got a double jointed elbow for a full range of movement there. That's nice. Um, he comes with a few different hands, but they all have the same posability of just the swivel for where they're pegged in and then a uh, upward and downward hinge. Uh, he's got a waist joint. He's got an ab crunch, but like it only clicks about that far forward and it's kind of like stretching the chest up. What's weird is like they didn't do this in wave one, but wave two and three, like one of the features of these guys is they all have like removable chest plates to remove and see kind of nothing on the inside. I'm not really sure who this is for exactly. Like, it, you know, especially since we're like wasting paint budget on like, what, like, what is this referencing? Like nothing, <laughs> like it's kind of a strange decision, um, but like you can just leave it on. But like the app crunch is like, oh yeah, you can do all sorts of things like that if you uh if you take off the chest piece but if you take off the chest piece like what's the point i don't <laughs> it's kind of like a squishy softer softer plastic too which doesn't really matter when it's plugged in but worth noting um so yeah that's just kind of a weird design decision with a lot of these guys not really sure why they did that but whatever uh he's got a waist swivel he's got you know hips that can go that far forward that far back out to the side about that far. He's got a, a thigh swivel right there, uh, double jointed knees. So he does have a pretty deep curl, but there you can really see like 
how his upper leg is like way, 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 way smaller than his lower leg, which looks a little strange. Um, and then his feet are on uh, basically universal joints, but they don't have like a tremendous amount of movement. You can see like the, the pin disc swivel there. So it's like it can tilt forward and back about that much. And it can also tilt out to the side. And uh, no, I guess it can't really rotate. It also has like this hinge here that's attached to, but yeah, I guess that works. Yeah, you can get it to click forward like that for, you know, kind of a like foot stretched forward kind of poses. That works pretty well. I didn't even realize he had that uh, that extra joint in there until just now pretty much. But yeah, so, you know, decent articulation. You can get him in some uh, in some fun poses and like depending on which, you know, which of the knee joints you activate first, like it can... You know, like that, that's a fairly good pose. And like, really, I feel like he looks fairly good when he's on a shelf by himself. It's just like when you're comparing him to the other RED figures or really other Transformers figures, he just looks kind of enormous compared to them. Um, but yeah, he comes with a variety of uh, accessories here. Like I said before, he does come with uh, two sets of hands. So just like the regular closed fists hands here. I'm trying to get it to focus and then also uh, weapon holding hands. And you know, it's a it's a fairly easy maneuver to uh, to switch those out. You pretty much just pull on the joint and then plug in the new hand. And um, for what that's really for is the only thing he can really hold is his gun, which is a nice little pistol. Uh, you can just put it in his hand like that and he holds it fairly well. It comes with a couple blast effects for the gun, which unfortunately use a slightly different system to like all the other like uh, War for Cybertron blast effects where Usually those have like a, um, you know, a little hole that you'd peg stuff into or a bigger peg, but these ones have a, a smaller peg that you plug into the tip of the gun there. Um, so kind of sucks. Like it would have been nice if those were interchangeable. It's just like, it's kind of weird though. Like, I don't know if I'd ever be displaying him with those blast effects because like the sculpt on his face has like a nice little, you know, like smirk, like a smile on it. So to have like Bumblebee like mid shot, like grinning, I just feel like looks a little creepy. I don't know. Like if he's holding his gun, that's one thing. Like that doesn't look too bad. But like to have him mid shot and then just having this like, you know, smile on his face. It, it, I don't know. It feels a little strange. But yeah, both of those do work, obviously. And then the last accessory that he comes with is a little uh, Energon cube. Sure. Not sure, uh, not sure why he in particular comes with this accessory, but you know, what's nice about this one is like, okay, they, I can just add this to the rest of my other Energon Cube collections. Like it doesn't have to stay with my, you know, RED figures in particular, but uh, yeah, you know, he's got it. The only thing, you know, you could like stand on it. They had some uh, product photography where he had that, but otherwise there's no real way for him to interact with that. But yeah, that's pretty much all the accessories he comes with. Um, in terms of comparisons, we'll start off with a couple different bumblebees here. Uh, just so you can see how kind of absurdly huge he is. Here he is with a uh, Netflix bumblebee and the uh, Buzzworthy bumblebee origins bumblebee. So you can see like he is uh, quite quite a tall boy. Um, and just what I'm talking about with the other RED figures, here he is with Soundwave. Like whoop, that scale doesn't work. Like bumblebee looks like a giant, you know, like bulky bruiser or something rather than like supposed to be these proportions but half the height so yeah i don't think they look particularly good together but you know as a figure on its own i feel like it, it works relatively well um uh, and then here he is with uh with g1 bumblebee for fun uh for a standard some standard size comparisons here he is with uh with deluxe sideswipe for a deluxe transformer uh, here he is with uh, Origins He-Man for like, you know, a standard six inch action figure kind of height. He's a little bit taller than him, but not by a tremendous amount. They're pretty much six figure or six inch uh, action figures. And here he is with a pop vinyl. So, you know, pretty, pretty standard action figure height is just the, the thing with this line is like there, it just kind of hits a lot of really weird points where it's like, I'm not totally sure what it's for. You know what I mean? Like, the chest thing is just like, who is this designed for? I don't understand. Uh, and that, especially since that's like a running thing in this line. Um, like, and you know, it's like, oh, do we want just like figures that are super cartoon accurate? Then why do we have the silver, silver smudges and stuff like that? I don't know. But you know, in terms of like highly detailed and, you know, posable action figures, they're not like 
tremendous quality compared to a lot of other similar things like you know the master masters of the universe stuff or like the star wars black series stuff or anything like that like they're you know they're they're kind of softish some of their joints are a little bit wibbly like they're not like super high quality action figures so it sits in a strange place but i think he does look relatively nice overall especially like i said like if you're not putting him next to other red figures or other transformers figures in which like the scale makes him look ridiculous if you just have him like on a shelf by himself then uh you know i, I think he's a, a fairly nice little bumblebee figure i just think yeah the one like the few gripes of him with him by himself is like i don't really love the silver smudges and i wish that his legs were a little shorter to like feel like he's a bit more in proportion but you know i feel like you're only totally noticing that if you're looking at him straight on um other things to mention, he's got a tire on his back, which can remove for whatever reason. I guess you could, <laughs> I think it's the same size peg. You could like, no, it's not, Never mind. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not, you know, I, I guess it's nice that that removes in case they have like other accessories that are like jet packs or something that could plug on there. Obviously he doesn't come with one, but you know, some other figure might. So I don't know, but yeah, that's uh, pretty much all there is to say about him. Not a, not a terribly complicated figure, but uh, yeah. If you enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. I do reviews every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And without further ado, here we have Transformers Robot Enhanced Design Bumblebee.